This is a basic assembly video for your Volano uh, folding bike. Uh, once you have the bike unpacked, you'll find these things in the box. Of course, the main frame, which will have the handlebar attached. You'll have a fender, a wheel, a rear rack, a seat, seat post, the steering uh, column. There'll be a parts box. Within that parts box, you'll have your owner's manual. Uh, a small bolt bag, two reflectors, pedals, a reflector bracket, and the axle nut covers. <coughs> and uh, of course, you're going to need some tools. I have uh, more here than I'm going to need, but these are just some of the basic tools. A 15 millimeter wrench, a 13 millimeter wrench, I mean a 14 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, an 8 millimeter wrench. I have some hex wrenches, which are 4, 5, and 6. I have an adjustable wrench you might use at home, uh, a Phillips screwdriver. I have this 14mm uh, socket, and I also have uh, just the hex wrench is all in one convenient uh, tool. <clears throat> and again, you may uh, use the majority of these tools, uh, some designed to make it a little easier. Uh, we're just going to go right into it. Number one, I will grab my seat posts. Uh, there's a little bit of a plastic shim in here. It must re remain in the frame, and of course you'll put the seat post in there. It's going to be relatively snug, but that's okay. You want a good snug seat, you don't want it to slide anywhere. And of course, we'll tighten up the quick release real quick. <clears throat> then I'll put my seat on. I'll just slide that into place, and I'll, I have a 14 millimeter uh, ratchet wrench here. They can use any uh, 14 millimeter box wrench, which will be fine. All right. Now I have my steering assembly. Um, the steering assembly has uh, this wedge piece on it, so you're going to want to open the wedge and fold this down. And again, when, you, when you're closing it, you make sure it's 100% parallel, and, and you just get the wedge in place and tighten it, and it's what keeps the steering assembly. Uh, together, but to install it, we have to completely open it, unhinge it, and open it. <clears throat> we'll slide this into the frame. Um, when this is in the appropriate position, if you close it and you're looking over the bicycle, this quick release assembly will um, will be in front of you. There is a small. Uh, Convex, there's also a plastic shim here, and it's got a convex uh, shape to it, which will uh, fit the handlebar. So again, you want this to be completely in front of you, and this hinge uh, with this latch kind of just about at a 1 to 2 o'clock position. But I'm going to have it folded down uh, in order to install it. And this requires a 6 millimeter Allen key. And you want to make that good and snug. And now I'll just return this to its position and, and of course get the wedge nice and tight. Alright. Next we move on to the pedals. Uh, these pedals are left and right. So the right side of the bicycle is the side with the chain. When you're standing over it, it's on your right side. And again, they are marked. And there's the right one, you can see the mark there, the mark there. There's also a folding pedal, so if you need the, when you have it on the bicycle and you're folding your bike, you just pull it up and pull down and it, and it folds it. So we'll go to the right side pedal, which is uh, um, your standard uh, right hand thread, which is uh, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And this requires a 15 millimeter wrench. And you'll put that on there. All right. Then there's the left side pedal. I'm going to flip this around real quick. Obviously, you don't have to flip yours around to do this. But the left-hand pedal, very important, again, is a left-hand thread. And it threads on lefty tidy. So I'm going to get it in there. Make sure it's going in nice and easy. Get it started. I'm looking at it back 
because it was turning the wrong way myself. So again, it should thread in nice and easy. And there you go. So remember, this is a reverse thread. And you'll just thread these down all the way. You always want your pedals to be nice and snug once you have them threaded down. And you get them all the way and just give it that one last snug. Let me uh, turn the bike around again this way. See this all. All right, uh, from here, what I would do is, I don't know if I'm gonna do some disassembling to do some assembling. I'm going to um, just remove the back portion of this fender bracket. I got one bolt there. And this requires a 10 millimeter wrench. I have a 10 millimeter socket that I'm using. All right. And we release that so we can put our rear reflector on. So let me uh, open up this part bag and uh, quickly lay out all these parts here. I'll slot them. And there is a very small um, nut, an 8 millimeter nut, and a little lock washer. So, uh, once you put that in there, by disconnecting the fender, it gives us the opportunity to lift this. And we put those in place. I'll grab my uh, 8 millimeter wrench and just snug that up. And then, of course, I will uh, reinstall the fender bracket bolts right to where they came from. And there's a little washer and a bolt. Feels as though it's threading in nice and smooth. Move to the other side. And again, uh, all, the, all the bolts should thread in smoothly. There shouldn't be any resistance. If there is, then it's probably stripping the threads. There we go. So we got a reflector on. Then I will move to the uh, front reflector bracket. And we'll grab the longest bolt in the kit, uh, a washer, and uh, there's a, a bunch of nylon nuts. They all fit the same, same size. Well, let me grab my reflector. So we will install the reflector on the bracket, and there is one odd kind of screw bolt thing here. Bolt this in here. You can use a Phillips screwdriver or an 8mm wrench. And then you're going to have your reflective bracket. You want the reflective pointed outwards. This has a little bit of an L shape here. This long bolt will go through there. We will slide this. Oh, wait. We will also be installing a fender at the same point in time. So we'll slide the reflector and the bolt through the front. And it should come out the back side of the fork. Fender bracket on. We have our washer and our nylon nut. And I'll put that there. And here's where uh, it helps to have at least two 10 millimeter wrenches. I have my 10 millimeter socket and the 10 millimeter 
ratchet and wrench. I will put the socket there and the wrench on the back side. Grab my 10 millimeter socket, or you can use your wrench, whichever you prefer. And snug these things up. We'll snug up this side. Here. Alright, we're going to bring the handlebar up now, too. So, you want to make sure the cables aren't. Crazy. Uh, the handlebar has a concave groove in it, which again will go into this uh, this slot here. And it's got to be a little torn at first, but once you get it in place, then you get your slack back in your cables. And of course, you'll want to snug this up. All right. And now we'll move. Uh, to the rear rack assembly. And this is folded up, so you'll unfold it. On this rear rack assembly, the bolts are already in the frame, so you're going to remove these as well. And there is a, a load of washers on there. I think the majority of them are for packaging purposes. All right, and also, we have uh, two bolts left over from our parts bag, and two nuts, and two washers. And these are also going to be for our rear rack assembly. So, um, I will grab this bolt, I will leave only one washer on, again, there's an excessive amount, which is uh, for the packaging, just to, so the nut isn't put on there too tight, so, do the other side, again, leaving one washer, millimeter socket and I'm not going to snug them up too much but I just want to make sure they're in there. You don't want to snug them up until you have all the bolts in place. So we're going to grab this bolt here and we're going to feed it through the frame and through the rack. I'm going to put a washer on there and a nut. Do the same on this side, feed through the frame, 
into the rack, one washer, one nut, and this is a, another case where it helps to have at least two 10 millimeter wrenches. I have a, a, a socket, so I will uh, put my socket here, and fortunately I have a ratchet in. Wrench, which makes it slightly easier, but if you don't have a ratchet and wrench, you can still accomplish this by just turning and then flipping and turning. It's just slightly more cumbersome, but you can do it. And we'll snug this one up. Axle nuts. 
And there was four of them. Two for the rear. And two for the front. Resistance because they are new, but there you go. So, uh, again, now we pretty much have our bike assembled. Oh, I've got these two little guys here, and these are just two little clips you'll see in the bag, and you kind of just put them almost anywhere. They're designed to keep the cables somewhat neater, they aren't necessarily important, but. Again, it keeps everything kind of together. It was in the uh, parts box. So again, now we have the bike assembled. Uh, you probably still need uh, the adjustments to the gears, as well as the brakes, all the minor adjustments that are included in a bicycle tune-up. But I'm gonna show you how this latch works real quick. So you'll open this. Once you open it, you rotate it out 90 degrees. Uh, this still will not allow the bike to fold. In order for the bike to fold, you now have to pull the latch up as well. So it kind of has two locking mechanisms. One is here, and the other one is a pin that runs down through here. So in order to disengage the pin, you pull this up, and that allows the bike to fold. Uh, of course, when it's time to close the other way, you, it just snaps into place. But you'll pull this over here, and then push down a quick release, make sure it's good and snug and has appropriate amount of, of tension. And there you have it, your Volano folding bike.